As a reminder, whoever pops the ball gets popped. <laughs> <laughs> everyone welcome back to behind arcadia where we discuss all the stuff behind arcadia you know the non-lore stuff which is honestly such a funny way to put it because it's not like it's it's just not but anyway it's fine it's fine i don't mind sharing i don't mind sharing um but anyway you know what's come to arcadia you know what's come to arcadia scoot ball and who better to referee than me now, you might be wondering, Corn, what makes you qualified to referee? And I would just like to say that absolutely nothing makes me qualified to referee in the same way that Detective Corn did not go to detective school. But you know what I have? Lots of enthusiasm. And hey, we needed a referee. Actually, we did not need a referee. I was I was signed on to do announcing, and I decided I was going to be the referee too. I love just stealing power, just grabbing it, taking it with my hands, munching it into my mouth like it's a bunch of glow sticks. Um, Don't eat glow sticks, by the way. That was That was a metaphor. It was a metaphor. But anyway, you might be thinking, Corn, what on earth is scoot ball? Is that like baseball, but you have to scoot from base to base? It is not, but that's a great idea, so someone should write that down. Scoot ball is simply the most sensational game to ever exist within Minecraft. Created by the great Ren Diggity Dog himself of Hermitcraft fame, scoot ball involves kicking a curled up armadillo into the opposing player's goal, and it's called scoot ball because armadillo ball just doesn't quite sound as nice. And some of you might be saying, Porn impossible, you can't kick in Minecraft, your feet simply are not capable, and I would respond with, yes, you cannot kick, so it's actually punching, and wind charges, and you have a speed beacon going, so everyone goes super fast, and you have jump boost going, so everyone jumps really high, and it's just overall very, very fun. Scoop ball is played on what's basically an ice rink, even though ours has some nice green carpet to make it look like grass. And it's kind of, it's kind of in a way, like, like ice hockey. Because have, hasn't everyone looked at ice hockey and thought, dang, I really wish that puck was an armadillo. And before you come after me for, like, animal, animal abuse things, I would like to remind you that I am not part of the alliance. No, no, no. I am the person who backed Cat in headhunt when we killed a bunch of animals for their heads. Besides, look at this field that Scuba made. It's a wonderful field, and it has some new features to make Scootball easier, like a built-in Elder Guardian so theoretically no one can break any blocks, and auto armadillo resetters to put the armadillo back in place if it's kicked off sides to reset it for a goal kick, or to put it back at the center when a goal has been scored. Now, for the first ever Arcadian Scootball game, I had volunteered to do commentary and also ref. I kind of claimed that power, and everyone just went with it. So huzzah. It was my duty to ensure a nice clean game was played with no murder. So at the beginning, I made it very clear that if anyone murdered anyone, I would get to murder them because it's not fair that other people get to do murder and I don't. And in the beginning, everything was going great. It was very chaotic and no one really knew what they were doing and no one was scoring. But hey, it's scootball and scootball is fun. But then disaster struck. We had our first casualty. The penalty! Boss, penalty! Boss. All of you, all of you, all of you, go sit in your goal and think about what you've done. Go sit in your goal and think about what you've done. Liz, you get in the goal! Liz, get in the goal! The in the face of such monumental loss, how do you go on? How do you do it? Well, the answer is people want to keep playing scoop ball, so you go and you get another armadillo and you get ready, and then it turns out everyone's been checking their statistics to see who killed the armadillo, and you find out. You find out exactly who the armadillo slayer is. Scuba! Scuba! She's back in earshot! Scuba, come here! Scuba, come here! Say you spawn! Betrayal, betrayal of the highest order. Scuba, who had brought Scootball to Arcadia. Killing the first ball? How could this be? He was the one who was so very carefully told us not to hit the armadillo when it was in the water because there was a chance that you would actually injure it. How? How? So, um. I would think that you, as, like, one of the rule people, um, given that you, like, wrote, built this, would understand the importance of, you know, not not hitting the ball when its head <laughs> is poking out, you know? Because that, that hurts it's the a... ball. I don't think it was poking out. <laughs> then how did it get damaged by you so it <laughs> died? <laughs> I don't know. Denial. That was what I was faced with. Denial. Flat out denial. Not even, not even regret in this man's eyes. Just denial of the entire thing. And well, he had heard the rules at the beginning. If anyone was gonna do murder, it was gonna be me. So there was only one way for this to end. <laughs> Some of you may think that uh, murder might have been too strong of a reaction in response to Scuba popping a ball. 
but I would like to say that was not a ball. That was an armadillo, and armadillos are cute. And yes, I have killed lots of armadillos because I like their cute heads, but, but, Scuba, Scuba wasn't even going for the heads here. Scuba was just playing a game and played too rough, and the ball popped, and so, you know, murder. And from there, we got the special Arcadian scootball rule. A new rule just for Arcadia, because I don't think on Hermitcraft they kill their balls this much. Which was to say, whoever pops the ball gets popped. My sincere hope with that rule was to make it so we had no more armadillo deaths. That is not what happened. <laughs> is it, is but it, it might go not in? matter. Is it gonna go in? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Who was it? Who was it? Everyone check your stats! Scuba, I'm looking oh at you! Oh no! Stats! Oh, it wasn't- not me, not me. It wasn't me! Not me either. It wasn't Ooh. me! Me and the Uh oh! Who was it? Oh no. Oh no. Um. <laughs> Tooth, come over here! <laughs> Tooth pled it was an accident. At least you didn't plead that it didn't happen, like Scuba. Seriously, Scuba, we all have eyes. So I thought, okay, okay, one of them was, was Scuba. One of them was Scuba. And one of them was an accident. That means it'll be the end. But no. Friends. My friends. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. They didn't just kill it. Wait. Yes! <laughs> it wasn't even rolled! It wasn't even balled up! Oh, no! It wasn't even balled up! You didn't even, you didn't even go to wait for it to ball up. Joppa! <laughs> From my angle, it just looked like an act of Joppa. malice. <laughs> <laughs> what was this, Joppa? <laughs> Joppa didn't say anything. He was silent. But I did just watch him punch it without even waiting for it to curl up. So yeah, I'm with Husk. That was an act of malice. After that, though, no more armadillos were harmed in the playing of the scoot ball. Well, that's not correct. No more armadillos died from being harmed from the playing of the scoot ball. The last armadillo actually made it to retirement good for him. And that's all well and good. That, 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 that armadillo definitely earned retirement. But I've been thinking about what might happen if more scoot ball is played and there isn't a ref. Like... Then what happens? Who pops the person who pops the ball? Do they have to, like, just stand awkwardly in the corner and then everyone does rock, paper, scissors? Without a ref, there's there's no order. And I don't... Look, I enjoyed refing, but I wouldn't want to do that for the rest of my life. I have things to do, people to see, places to be, things that end in E. And I am not going to ref every scoop ball match ever because, you know, I would just I'm just too flawless. Mm -hmm. But... We still do need a solution to the popping situation. So if someone pops a scoop ball, the armadillo does not go unavenged. So I thought long and I thought hard. And that is why, my guys, gals, non-binary pals, I am standing in front of this wooden structure without wearing my pants at nighttime because we are going to catch a zombie. And you might be thinking, Corn, what, what do your pants have to do with that? And as it turns out, my pants are the only part of my armor that have thorns on it. So the rest of this will just offer protection while I'm getting a zombie. Because I think you guys can see from what I have in my inventory where we're going with this. So now we just need someone to cooperate. Because as it turns out, um, I've made several attempts at this. Um, a couple of them have died. Um, and more than a couple of them have simply refused to pick up any of the items. Um, so... We need to find a guy who's willing to pick up what I'm putting down, which is to say, an armadillo head. Oh, he's not the chosen one. Oh, one more shot at it. One more shot at it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to be an armadillo? Don't you want to be an armadillo? Hi. Yeah! Okay, good job. Good job. You just missed it the first time. That's it. Oh, okay. You missed this one, too. Come on, man. Um, if anyone is wondering the perfect color and the dye combination to make, uh, armadillo sort of pinkish brown, it's pink and then brown. It's honestly not that hard. All right. There we go. Oh, I fell in a... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna say all the armadillos, they wrong. Thank you very much. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah! Okay, success. Success. And it's only like mm. the fifth try. Woo! 
I have pants on now, and I've also gone to the liberty of giving this guy a stone sword so that I can get my demonstration over with faster, and in the future, make sure people die faster. But anyway, I actually have to take all of my armor off for this demonstration to work, because you see, that guy sure looks like an armadillo, but he also gives a very neat death message. Very, very neat. So if I were to say, uh... Cornmilk was slain by all the armadillos they wronged, and I think that's just the best death message for someone who has gone and killed a very nice armadillo because they played too roughly during school. Ball. Now, I thought about building, like, the actual popping station myself, uh, but this is- the, the, the scoop ball field is Scuba's build, and I don't want to cramp his style. Also, all of my designs look terrible. But I've left that there for him to do with as he pleases, because he's planning on making a bunch of renovations, like putting in a scoreboard that'll automatically count things, and putting in stands, and so a pop machine is just, like, right up his alley, and he'll be using the fantastic death message I've created. So all in all, I think I've solved that problem, and I'm quite satisfied with how things are.